I tire completely. They killed 33 people in South Kaduna. Mob action. One of my respected friends just asked. He said, how, when you become president, how will you deal with this mob action? I said, why are you asking me a very, very simple question? I swear, I don't tire as in the kind of things that continue to happen in Nigeria with our hope less leadership and they massacre people and it is a normal thing like we are in ancient times barbaric times where community and community are fighting left and right this is 2017 for god's sake the day the day i am sworn in as president of that country that day i will announce that if anybody should ever take any weapon and conduct any retaliatory so-called reprisal attack on anyone else, that person is going down. Anti-terrorism laws is what I will use for that person. That person, if capital punishment, I mean, and then community will rise and then they will send police. Police will get there late, then police will get there and say, we are maintaining the peace. Some people have gone and carried weapons and gone to kill other people. Then is it a country? Then the police will look at them and say, you people stop, you people stop. What is stop? You start to arrest anybody suspected, interrogate them deeply, and anybody that has blood on his shoe in his house goes down, lock up permanently. Nigeria and your government, the government in that country, they are hopeless. And they will look and they will just give a statement. They will say, oh, you know, your people, maintain the peace. Anybody, we will deal with them. All paper talk. By the time I make that announcement and they see my eyes, everybody in that country will know that if anybody, if somebody attacks you and kills your family, you go and report to the police. If the police do not do something, they will be hotline to the government, straight to my office. And we will go and look for the perpetrator of the crime. How can people still be behaving like barbarians and our government, barbaric itself, allows this thing to continue? By the time the announcement is made, it's going to be made on all radio stations, all channels, all TV networks and repeated that from now on, Dr. Perry Brima is president of this country. No more barbarism. Anti-terrorism laws will be used against you. Farmer, headsman, if any of you is working, if you need protection, we will give you police protection. If you want to carry your cattle, we give you police protection. If you feel your farm is not secure, we give you police or other civilian cops protection. But if you ever take the law into your hands, as any community, you are going down. Very simple matter. Once you announce it with sternness, once you announce it and they know that you are tough, that you don't take, you don't play with this kind of barbarism, this stuff would end in that country. Are we going to continue living like this? The majority of those killed this time were women and children. The youth mobilized themselves and went and it's women and children that they found and killed. And our government just keeps looking. You will never hear serious arrests. You will never hear people seriously dealt with. What kind of government is this? I mean, it's very, very simple. But the government is a joke. Our government is a freaking joke. How long, Nigerians, are we going to continue to tolerate this rubbish? How long are we going to allow ourselves to be turned into barbarians? Because we are ruled by an insensitive government that's barbaric in itself. Simple law to make. They protect the cabal. They leave the masses alone. They don't care when we kill ourselves. It's time for this revolution. It's time to kick out these cabal. Cabal must go. Kick them out. Kick out these insensitive leaders who only focus on how to protect the cabal. When they kidnap cabal, how long does it take for the cabal to come out? Within a day, two days, cabal is out. When they kidnap us, they kidnapped our kids in Ekpe. They kidnapped the women in this. The government denies it. They do nothing to bring it out. This government is so fixated on making life better for the cabal. They do not know the simple things to do to restore law and order. It's time for change. Follow me, perrybrima.com. Follow me on Twitter at EveryNigerian. Or join me on Facebook, AdvancedNigerian.com. It's time for change. It's time for this nonsense to be over.